more than part-time money as an affiliate. Dude, look at this rate of fire. Goodness gracious. Yeah, we're just negging Isaac. For some reason, that Albertsons commercial we made popped into my head yesterday. Do you remember poking that Ethernet cable into the vent because the director told us it would look good? We made an Albertsons commercial? Get the fuck out of here. When did this happen? Are you sure that was me? Why do I not remember this? We did? Shit, I don't remember that at all. We laughed about how dumb it was. So they, they, they had us run a cable up into a vent, huh? You know, where, where most, uh, where, where most, uh, low voltage cable lives is in HVAC vents. Wow, what a, what a start. I could have potentially used that to play out the sack room, but it would have cost me my eternal heart, and I don't think I'm down for that. Did Spider Butt get some upgrades? Because I feel like this is dominating right now. Infested. Eh, that tracks. God, I don't remember that. I absolutely believe you that it happened. I just feel like I must have blocked it out. That sounds really stupid. God, why can I not remember that? What's What's funny is that I didn't, I didn't know at that point in my life that I was gonna go into some form of entertainment. I feel like we get keepers sack here. I didn't know I was gonna go it. Like I'd never done theater before. I had never had any real interest in doing, like, radio or anything like that. I honestly think that if I had done something like that, I would have been self-conscious about being on camera. Uh, it's fu it's funny now because, like, you guys will, you guys will laugh at this, but, like, a Amber and I, when we got back to Richmond, went to this place called Agecroft Hall, which was this, uh... Be beautiful, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Victorian manor that was moved from Britain to the coast or to the to the shores of the River James here in Virginia. They moved it in the 20s by steamer ship, and they didn't lose a single uh, they didn't lose a single pane of glass. But we were walking around enjoying ourselves, having a good time. And this photographer who was doing promotional stills for for the um, location. Dude, I had PhD. Why did I, t I took it because it was a, a 15 cent item to buy. That's fine. Uh, the, anyway, this um, photographer who was doing these promotional stills saw us and was like, hey, would you guys mind uh, being in some promotional stills? And I was like, we were like, yeah, sure, I guess. And the next thing we knew is we were with this guy for like 25, 30 minutes taking direction. He was like, all right, if you guys could just uh, turn about a quarter turn towards the camera. All right, cool. All right, and, like Amber and I are standing there because we're both like professional actors and we're both like asking him to give us direction. Like, how am I framed? Okay, cool. And the way that I'm standing, the light's not blocking. Okay, good, good, good. All right, I just want to make sure. Yeah, 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 roll with it, roll with it. Snap some photos. All right, do we got it? Do we need, do we need another take? We do. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Line it up. So it's ironic to me that like, apparently, Packet Greaser and I did like a, oh my God. Well, I guess we're absolutely doing the, um, we're absolutely doing the sack room. Apparently Packet Greaser and I did a uh, promotional shoot for Albertsons for a foundation. And they told us to do a bunch of stupid shit that we would never do on the job. Because it looked good on camera. And I have forgotten all about it. I assume that a bone heart's better than the other ones. Uh, it'll serve its purposes for a while and then I'll want to get rid of it. Mm. 
the bone heart will serve its purpose for a little bit and then I'll want to and then I'll want to ditch it but it is good do I want oh well yeah I guess so I'm still gonna lose that eternal heart but so be it. <laughs> nah, that's a... Uh, Lauren and I were such good boys. Every once in a while, we would really lash out at, at the establishment. And we would take a slightly longer than was allowed lunch. And we would make Marie calendars in the oven instead of in the microwave. That's how we rebelled. That was how we rebelled. We're back! That's interesting. Get, get a load of this wild man. Well, I mean, like, I don't, I don't want to fight them. Um, yeah, you know what? I think the money's probably better here. There was a part of me that was hoping for soul hearts, but judgment, you say? Well, I can take them both. There was a part of me that was kind of hoping for soul hearts, but I think it'll be fine. And we'll just, we'll just try to keep this buffer of this bone heart alive for us. Yeah, he's not wrong. We take a longer than a longer than permitted lunch and make Marie calendars in the oven, which takes like 45 minutes instead of in the microwave, but it just tastes so much better. But then we'd feel guilty about it, and instead of leaving at 5, we'd leave it at like 5.30. <clears throat> Pop judgment because you have so many hearts in that room? Yeah, but what if it doesn't give me a demon beggar? You know what? You're not wrong, though. You're not wrong. I think you're, like, we hope for the demon beggar. I, I might actually just play out, like, we don't need... Normally, I keep a judgment card so that I can kill the, the beggar and increase my deal with the devil chances, but... In this instance, like, I'll just play him out. Did you hear about this woman got hot in the Marie Calendar's Facebook page saying her dessert ruined Thanksgiving because the woman flambated it in the oven? Does that just mean that she lit her Marie Calendar's on fire? Well, there we go. We, we turned like 10 cents into uh, spectral tears because I'll take Ouija on the way back. The pie was black. Oh my god. Ugh. Marie Calendar's, man. I used to get like little budget gourmets that cost 98 cents. My favorite was one that was, uh, my favorite was one that was, uh, shrimp and, shri shrimp and clam marinara with linguine. 98 cents. You got what you paid for, but I liked it so much. And it was only like 300 calories, so I was like trying to lose weight. But every once in a while, we'd splurge and get the, like, four or five dollar Marie calendar. And we'd cook that some bitch in the oven, and it was so good. We killed nothing. I probably should have popped that Emperor card on, card on the last floor, but we can do it here. I think we're, we're going to be safe almost no matter what it throws at us. What's that upside down white cross do? So if it, if I don't, if, if, so if I get a deal with the devil <clears throat> and I don't take anything from the deal with the devil, um, if I get a deal with the devil and I don't take anything, it gives me a massive damage upgrade on the next floor. It, it's basically the game's way of saying like, we know deals with the devil are awesome, but here's incentive to pass it up. So that you got to make, you got to make like choices and decisions about like, 
Well, I could take that, which is cool, but if I don't take that, I get a massive damage upgrade. So it's actually a pretty neat item that rewards you for bypassing devil deals. 98 cent shrimp, how are you still alive? They were like little tiny cocktail shrimp and little tiny clams. Like it was, there was barely ever, there was barely ever any um, protein in it. It was mostly, wow, dude, I feel like, I feel like, ooh. I feel like spider butt is suddenly not killing anything, which is kind of a bummer. Well, this will be, if there's a room where shit should get killed, it'll be this next wave. But we might entertain fucking glitch. You guys may have missed that if you weren't paying attention. But it would appear that Glitch has purchased some Kit Kats of Japanese variety, 10 cans of kimchi, and a gallon of soy sauce. Discreet, really. One of my biggest complaints about the service is that you just never know when it's gone off. The thing is with the soy sauce is that I can't use it to just put on stuff because Amber doesn't like it when we have the, the full sodium stuff. But I can use it for marinades. Ryan, what's going on? Welcome back, home skillet. I won't I mean like I honestly I'll just have to I'll just have to use that for like uh I'll have to use that for marinades. I don't mind full salt on the marinades because ultimately, you know, I'd be adding salt anyway if I didn't, but Kimchi's fucking delicious. Don't get me wrong. I'm not upset about the kimchi. The kimchi is shelf stable and amazing. And I, I frankly don't care whether or not Amber and the boys eat it. I'll find excuses to put that shit on everything. I'll just put the kimchi in the shed. And I'll just, uh, you, you know, I'll just feed the, uh, I'll feed the Kit Kats to the boys. Belnix, what's going on? Glitch, thank you so much, you Mimi shithead. I appreciate you. My new obsession is Guilty Gear Strive. What is that? Yeah, Red Vorpy, that's kind of my take too, is that ultimately if I'm not being if I'm not being snarky about it. If I'm not being snarky about it, I feel like uh, low sodium soy sauce tastes pretty much the same. John Ron, what's going on? Welcome. Johnny Ronnie. Fighting game stellar graphics. I haven't played a, a like I genuinely haven't played a fighting game since the original iterations of Mortal Kombat. I'm just not a fighting game guy. I don't have the I don't have the the quick the quick twitch reflex is necessary to excel at fighting games. I also think I might just not be aggressive enough. Uh, competitive fighting game, anime shit, fair. Fair enough. Uh, Time of V says, how are you and the family doing? We're doing okay. <laughs> oh, well, we're definitely leaving here with, uh, we're definitely leaving here with uh with rotten baby. Sorry, sorry to tell you. Sorry to tell you. New item. Uh, let's do emperor. <laughs> Kimchi's just the fermentation process. Uh, kimchi radish is amazing. That sounds. Listen. At some point, glitch. Nice. At some point, glitch. When uh, when Song Trader, you know, when Song Trader stock takes off, and I officially retire, we're gonna we're gonna make a we're gonna make a a, a, a trip to South Korea for uh, recreational purposes, and I'm gonna count on you to be my 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 food guide. I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. Um, I don't really have the money to support that. Well, I might end up with the money. How much? 
How much health do I have on the floor? I've got some I've got some red hearts. I got a lover's card, don't I? I do. Hold on. Judgment. Ooh, shit. Um The Chariot. I hate Jacob and Esau. That's it. You know what? You're not alone. Mm. Whoops. You're not alone. Death card, huh? Uh Wheel of Fortune probably gets bombed. Where could I put it that it, yeah, let's just say it's gonna be hard, hard for a Wheel of Fortune to escape there. Wheel of Fortune. Any help with Jacob and Esau? Uh, it, it, Jacob and Esau becomes more of a management resource game. <clears throat> you spend a little more time trying to figure out how best to allocate resources so that neither one of them's a liability. It's okay to get one stacked. It's okay to get one stack, but then you gotta realize that it's essentially an Isaac's heart run after that. You're just dragging a hitbox behind you and trying to keep it alive. So ultimately, do everything you can to generate as many items as humanly possible. Do everything you can to generate as many items as humanly possible. And then, uh... Once you've done that, you know, you can still get one of them to be like your tank in the front. The problem is dodging, I have to do boss rush to get rock bottom. Um, I don't know, for, for me, what I normally do is I just play, there we go. For me, I normally just play until I get like Mama Mega and blast open. Uh, boss rush. I don't normally make it to boss rush uh, naturally. Sorry, I'm dealing with my own game right now, too. Beyond that, I just think of it as, as being a, a like a doubly fat version of Isaac. As I'm dodging and as I'm, you know, relenting to muscle memory, I just try to pretend that Isaac's twice as fat. And that generally keeps me from the lovers. Hey, that generally keeps me from uh, taking any more damage than I have to. I guess. I think that's probably all I get done on this floor. If there were more red hearts laying around, like like synth oil was well worth spending our red hearts there, but. It's not really fermented. It's not actually soy sauce. A lot of the cheap stuff is literally just salty brown water. Whoops, that's a wall. All right, I'm leaving. Leaving? Yeah. Some magician's card, telepathy for dummies. Eh, telepathy for dummies seems fine, but I don't think we're going to need it. What item should I be looking for? I mean... You need twice as much stuff. Which means you can't really skip devil deals. I don't think. I mean, like, if the first devil deal's garbage, then you're lucky because you, you kind of have it sorted for you. But you really shouldn't try to s skip too much. Um... That said, you also have to be conscious of how much health each character has. So, if you take devil deals, oops. If you take devil deals, then all of a sudden you have to be careful about not dying because you just get kind of whittled down. Uh, I probably should have done that out of the first room. So, I, you know, holy mantle. Anything that extends your, your survivability, holy mantle. Uh, what am I thinking of? Um, miter, um, relic, defensive orbitals, huge, huge, like huge glass cannon upgrade. J John, John, Johnny, Ronnie, like I, I get that you're having trouble, but you understand that I'm not like a private coach. I can't, I can't just hand you it. Like I don't have like a strategy guide. 
I'm more than happy to like talk shop and strategy with you, but like I can't tell I can't I can't give you a seed and then tell you like all right So you're gonna turn left and then turn right and then you're gonna take one more left and Then you're gonna pick up uh, Infestation 2 and that's really good. Don't leave there without it If you want to do it the way I did it play Isaac for 7,000 hours that's how I did it. <laughs> like, like g genuinely. Taffy, what's your secret? Whoops. Nacho burgers sound good. Nah, now we're more on track with a conversation that I'm really super excited about having. Ah, shit, I wasn't paying attention. Wow, I really just got my ass beat there. I was genuinely was looking n not at the screen, which is not ideal. That's how you don't do it. Oh, come on. There's got to be more hearts just laying around. I want flight. I would genuinely forsake this uh, redemption if it just meant getting flight. I have to have that. Money's too valuable. In this economy, I needs it. I have red velvet Oreos. Some I want to say somebody glitch bought me a... Uh, uh, a parcel that included a whole bunch of like those fancy pants Oreos. The red velvet ones were really good. Go, I was gonna say, ch like, chat. I can see chat's eyes glazing over on the strategy guide. But they're back with us if you wanna talk Nacho Burger. You got chat in the palm of your hands if you wanna talk about this Nacho Burger. You have a captive audience. Oh, yeah, I would take I would take flight in a heartbeat. Um, let's do this while we're here. Oh, we're gonna hurt you so bad. You're in deep shit, Fallen! Oh right, because we started off with the note. Interesting. Yeah, I guess so, huh? Oh, and that's flight! What am I talking about? I guess so. I was only thinking about it as, um... I was only thinking about it as, uh... He Heavenly Brimstone. Well, shit. I was only thinking about it as Heavenly Brimstone. I wasn't thinking about the fact that it's also flight. What a... Dope pickup that is. Yeah, God, I can go. For, I, I, I say I could go for it. It's just because I'm hungry. I'm on the fast. Um, I actually have to keep fasting. At some point, I have to go do like a complete blood blood lab. I have to go do a, a whole blood workup at my at my docs. So that's, that's coming at some point. I have to do that sometime this week, which means fasting from the night before. Oh, come on, Taffy. Stop being bad at video games. Ugh, I played 7,000 hours of mine. Uh. Really? Because you keep bumping into stationary objects that hurt you. <clears throat> Summon flight with your mind. All right, uh, I don't think there's anything else really left to do on this floor. I was hoping to get like Perthro or something, but it ain't there. Uh, uh, Zer, 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 thank you so much. Kind of you to say. I went from yesterday chat saying something to the effect of like, I need to get a new grill. To over the last 24 hours having conversations with chat that basically turned it into, I need to get two grills. I need to get a griddle and then I need to get a Traeger and smoke all the meats. 
This is the start. Oh, it's a Dutch name. Denizen. Hold on. Ah, I still spelled it wrong, but. Well, welcome, welcome to the, 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 the Twitch, unofficial Twitch Dutch Embassy. We love the Dutch here. And if you are at all confused as to why I just said orange juice at you, let me know and I'll be more than happy to explain. I have no idea whether or not you know that story. We love the Dutch. You don't? <laughs> When I was 19, I had, a, I had a girlfriend who was a Dutch foreign exchange student. Beautiful woman, super nice. Uh, she's the only ex-girlfriend that I have in my life with whom I still stay in a little bit of contact. Like, she and I wish each other happy birthday online every year. And that that's like, she's, you know, she and I still, I think, could have a drink and hang out together and, and enjoy each other's company. So when we were night we dated when we were 19 and we dated when we were 25. When we were 19 at one point, she came up to visit me at my university. Ooh, yeah, that wins. Sorry, spider butt. And she was trying to explain to me in her opinion how easy it was to learn a second language cuz she spoke like 20 of them. She spoke English, she spoke Dutch, she spoke some German, she spoke a little bit of Spanish. Uh, you know, she was, she was fluent in four, like, four languages and spoke, like, two more a little bit. So at one point, we were laying in bed, just looking around the room, and she just started pointing out stuff around my dorm room and pronouncing it for me in Dutch. Tondel Borstool. Sina Sop. I know, like, th those words... Ikovit, uh, 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 like, I, like, I, I know, I know things, yeah, stroke waffle. So ultimately, uh, when I was telling this story to chat, I, I, I had a lot, I have a lot of Dutch viewers. And we agreed that because Dutch is a difficult language to learn, at least for me, because there are just certain, there are certain pronunciations that I just, I, my mouth won't do them. Uh, that I am allowed to use Sinasapalsap as like the Hawaiian aloha. <laughs> that that it, it can just mean whatever I need it to mean in Dutch. Celeste! Of course I log in and Champion has gifted me a sub to Taffy. I'm learning Dutch and I'm loving it. Heck yeah, I, I wish I could have. I So like the, the 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 word that really got me, that made me realize I, I would probably struggle to ever pull off Dutch, um, was brewery, as browery, but there's the roll in the back of the throat, the guttural R, I can't do it. I can't pinch the area at the base of my tongue where my like tonsil is, or the, the back of the hard palate. I can't do that rolling R, which means that, like, German and Dutch are just kind of out. I can roll my R's in the front of my mouth, like up here. Um, but as it turns out, like, uh, I was I was uh, talking to a voice coach when I was in college for theater. And her thing was like, she's like, yeah, Taffy, that's, that's cool. She didn't call me Taffy. Nobody knew that I was going to be called Taffy one day. Um, but she said, yeah, Ryan, that's cool, but it's not Dutch and German. She's like, that's great if you're going to do a Hungarian accent. She's like, that's great for parts of Spanish. And I was like, oh, neat. She's like, yeah, but that's not going to help you with German or Dutch. And ever like, people have tried to explain it to me. The only thing that I was able to do was, uh, you know, I, I stayed in, in Maastricht. Which I know is not the pro correct pronunciation, but when I was hitting the noise in that in that word, uh, I had my my Dutch ex explain it to me as uh, a concrete brick being dragged across the pavement, and that worked pretty well. 
I love listening to your story and hearing Dutch words now and then. I, I, I loved Holland. I was treated very well in Holland. And if you can believe it, it was at a time when the United States was just about as unpopular as it is these days. Um, it was back during the, the W administration. And even then, like, I remember going to Dutch bars and, and I ended up at a Dutch shooting range. I think they took me because I was American. They took me to this Dutch shooting range or because I was American and they were like, we're not supposed to let you do this, but we'd like to watch the American shoot a gun. And I was like, you realize this is like being in America and asking like a black person to play basketball just because, right? Like, you're just assuming I know how to shoot a gun. And they're like, well, do you? And I was like, well, fuck yeah, of course I know how to shoot a gun. I'm American. But I'm just saying, like, you realize that this is like some weird cultural stereotyping. Guttural R is my pirate-themed metal band. Finish has a little bit of rolling R too. In some words, can't do it. Yeah, I just I can't I can't force it that far back. Thanks to you guys able to find uh, orange juice at a base in Iraq. Uh, they got the drinks from some Dutch distributor, and it was all in Dutch. I saw Cena sop sop in the fridge and knew what it was. <laughs> That's awesome. <clears throat> I've never been to a shooting range, but I'd definitely go to a Dutch one. It was so weird, Celeste. It was it was a recreational center. It was a recreational center, so there was like there was like an indoor soccer pitch. And I wanna say there were a couple of like basketball hoops. And then downstairs was a shooting range. And then there was a fucking bar. All of these things were under the same roof. So like we went there, met a couple of guys who were kicking a football around then went downstairs and shot pistols, and then went back upstairs and drank beer, which came in the cutest little cups. Like, think about like, if you order an orange juice at like a diner, if you if you order like an orange juice at a diner, you expect that you're gonna get, gonna get kind of shorted. Like, you know, what, you know what I mean? Like, you go to a place like a Denny's or an IHOP, you're like, should I order six of these? Cause I really want some orange juice. And I'm terrified it's gonna be a shot glass. Well, that's what these beer, they were like little eight ounce beer pours. Yeah, like little six and eight ounce beer pours. And I was like, listen, if you're going to assume because I'm American, I shoot guns, then you should also assume that because I'm American, I'd rather jump the border and drink with the Germans than sit here and do these little lager shots. At this rate, we're gonna be here all night before I can black out and forget all the shitty things that I, have had to subject myself to in our education system and how much my health care costs. Talwin, good morning. Core, no shit. I've played basketball terribly my entire life. I was at one point where I was like super fit where I could grab the rim. I always thought that at some point the universe owed me the ability to dunk a basketball, but I don't think it's ever going to make good on it. I don't think the universe is ever going to make good on me feeling like it somehow owes me the right to dunk a basketball. It's all going to be cards, which is kind of cool, I guess, depending on what the cards are. Justice. The Magician. The sun card. Um, Emperor, I'll take justice. Let's see what's in here. I, I can leave that and feel okay about it. Um, I'm trying to scan. Sorry to chat if I, if I miss anything important. Just tag me. Dutch sucker punches you at first. It's like, hello. <laughs> the cut. I, I'm not gonna try. It. I'm gonna. I'm gonna butcher it. Yeah, I'm not gonna try to read any of that. I'm just gonna kill it. Is it true that Americans can smell guns from a mile away? We mostly eat guns. That's what people don't realize is the reason that Americans have so many guns is because we we we, we do that that and fast food. We just melt American cheese on the guns and then we eat them. We all know white men can't jump the movie told us so. Ugh, I used to be able to get the rim.
two of three conjoined or am I wrong? You, you, you might be right, but I hate that. I don't hate that familiar. Like he didn't steal 20 bucks from me the last time I saw him, but like, I'm not enamored with that familiar. Um, I'm not enamored with that familiar. I'm, I'm not really like worried about taking that one and conjoined is fine, but it's not like we're hurting for damage at the moment. It is not as though we are hurting for damage at the moment. I just had six guns on a bagel for breakfast. They were only nine millimeter. It was a light breakfast. Yeah, I mean, ultimately, you gotta you gotta watch carbohydrates. Sure, I guess. Now, yeah. I wasn't paying attention. Rancid meatballs and affordable Swedish crap. Watching Larry Bird dunk when we were kids gave me a sense of entitlement. I just, like, my dad said that he could dunk when he was younger, and I believe that because my dad was like a six foot three. I, like, my dad was six foot three, so he had me by three inches, and he was an athlete from the very get go. Like, he was. My dad was a very scrappy dude. Like, he, he got in fights and, you know, got in fights and womanized and had parents that didn't love him and bounced around from family to family until he found somewhere he could stay. My dad was like a street tough and was at, like damn near a half foot taller than me. But that just made me think, well, if my dad is half my genetics, then there's a pretty good chance at some point I should be able to dunk a basketball. And I never never really realistically even came close I grabbed the rim when I when I was when I was like a hundred and I was six feet tall and a hundred and sixty some odd pounds and going to the gym like a madman every day uh, I could get enough air to grab the rim and that was as close as I ever got Torrin says, good morning, everyone. I had two people quit today when my boss asked me why. I said, you promised them a raise after 30 days and didn't give it to them. Why are so many managers, like, seemingly clueless about how labor works? Why? Torrin, make me understand why there are so many people in, like, middle and upper management who just seem to forget how capitalism is supposed to work. I can dunk on the low hoops at the Y. It's, it's almost like when you lie to people, they get upset. Very nearly. K Pine says, as a manager, <laughs> K Pine says, as a manager, I'd like to thank all the shitty managers for setting the bar so low. Yeah, I was gonna say, if you're if you're an even moderately competent manager, you you must seem like a unicorn to your employees. Like, genuinely, if you just set a schedule and then honor it based on input given to you by your employees, they must look you dead in the face and be like, I didn't know people like you existed. I don't know, it makes me want to beat my head into a wall. That sucks, dude. Just got Spotify 2021 recap and four out of my five top songs were Bear Ghost, I Blame You, and Probably Rini. I, I feel bad. I opened Spotify and I genuinely don't think I, I think to to check I think to check my 2021 stats was the first time that I opened Spotify this year. I genuinely think I'll find more use for Red Candle at the moment. Sprinkler could be, Sprinkler could end up being more fun. I think I, 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 like, my tears have been great since the beginning of the run, but... My tears have been great since the beginning of the run, but I haven't gotten a tears upgrade since the run started. The world card. 
It's just my last chance to buy stuff, so I might as well keeper it up. Isaac! Didn't quite get there. Oh my god. Well, shit. I guess I should have saved some money. Uh, fuck. Well. Little bit of money. Chit. All right, well. We just have to. What's that item? It's the most delicious item in the game if you have money. And I just burned through a whole bunch of money because I didn't think I had a use for it, but now every floor for the rest of the run I get to do this. I get to kill this man. Ugh. Yeah, it's just like life. If you have money, it's great. Well, now I have to do full floor clears and try to generate some revenue for the following for the for the floors after. Plus the cross is partly blue in the boss's room now. Talk about this this cross. This cross gives you a, a power upgrade if you turn down a deal with the devil. Yeah, so ev every every floor now, we're going to get um, a private deal with the angel shop. And if we have the money. Then we, uh, if we have the money, then we, we, we can reap the benefits of that. Would it be okay if after this run you could do Jacob and Esau? It depends. After this run, I, I'm doing, um, whatever I need to get done to finish my second file in Repentance. If there's Jacob and Esau stuff, I got no problem giving it a shot. But I don't think there's much Jacob and Esau stuff left, uh, with the exception of, well, I don't know, maybe, there might be, I might, I might, like, I got no problem trying to tackle that if it needs to be done. There's, like, greed, probably greedier mode, maybe some of the faster stuff? Ugh, that'll mean, that'll mean, like, doing resets, but I, I gotta do it sooner or later. Oh, that was, yeah, that's the blanket. Sorry, that, that blue cross that was in the health bar is a new visual representation of having the holy mantle effect. That actually sticks the holy mantle effect up in your health bar now, which is nice. Ow. Ow. Sorry, I didn't understand the question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a visual representation of the uh, holy mantle effect. And because it's the blanket, you only get it in the boss room. <clears throat> All right. Looks like we're going to get a couple more angel room items. Ooh, that Empress card is insistent. Full floor clear, I said. I like the song, I think. Ow. Well, this song may be okay, but it's not the one I was thinking of. Did I hear greedier mode? Eventually. Eventually. Eventually, we'll have to get it done. Oh my. Well. I'm glad we came back and did this for- Ooh, shit! Soul of Lilith. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, I should have been hit there. Thank you, Dry Baby. Already saving me some health. I don't know why I didn't get hit going out. Secret room? 
here maybe? Yeah, I got no problem. I got no problem resetting things like uh, greedier mode. I got no problem set like resetting uh, taint like tainted lost runs. Super duper flight. I don't think I'm gonna play out the sack room. I think I'm just gonna go. I'm feeling pretty good about this run. Oof, I am legitimately kind of hungry. What do you got for me? Ooh, promising. Joker! Fool card. Isn't the fool card the one that has the guaranteed crawl space? Nope. I don't, wanna, I don't wanna fool with all that. <laughs> I don't wanna fool with all that. I didn't mean to do that, I'm sorry. My sincerest apologies that I said it that way. I don't wanna screw around with that. Down we go. Yeah, Johnny Ronnie, that's one of those things where, like, I definitely... Oh, my God. Uh, I definitely will, will, will push myself to the brink of madness. Two of diamonds. If it means getting the items that I want. It used to be, I think, before Repentance came out, I feel like you, you used to be able to uh, more easily skate by on skill alone, but I don't, I don't think that's the case anymore. I think more often than not, I feel like more often than not, um, The game's harder now, and there's a lot of situations where if you try to force the run to go faster than it naturally wants to, and if you if you don't stop and try to really kind of extract as much value as, as you possibly can from one floor to the next, ow, uh, it's much easier to find yourself just sort of whittled down until there's nothing left. This is the story of the newest denizen of the cave. Taffy, you're being awfully polite today. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm it, life is a constant project. Oh my, life is a constant project, and I'm just I'm just trying my best to, you know, take some of the edge off myself, get that blood pressure down naturally. Noah drops a tier two sub, uh, 59 months, and so says uh, you could make it. You can make the playoffs in both leagues, good sir. You clinched the uh, fourth of six spots in the Dynasty League somehow. Our redraft league has like a two-way tie for third and a five-way tie for fifth with six. So you're saying that I should look at my... I had given up. There were a couple of places where things got like wonky. You know, like, what was it? One of my wide receivers, and I'm not I'm not dogging on him for, for... I'm not dogging on him for valuing his mental health. But I had the wide receiver who literally stopped playing because he was just like, ah, I need a break. And I was like, is that a thing now? Because if that's a thing, I just don't care about fantasy football. It's one thing to lose people to injury, you know? It's like, it's one thing to lose, yeah, Calvin Ridley. Like, I, listen, man, if Calvin Ridley needs to get away from football for his mental health, that's great. But like, I don't want to have the headaches of an actual NFL GM. I don't want to find myself feeling gross because I'm prioritizing a dude sacrificing his mental health so that my imaginary football team can succeed. Like I, I don't, I, I was just saying that I'm trying to be 
I'm trying to be a better person. And once once Calvin Ridley was like, I need a mental health break, and I was like, why? My fantasy team's doing so good, just muscle through. And I felt gross, and I was like, I don't want to do this. <laughs> this this yields me not enough benefit for too much too much stress. Hold that. Oh, damn. Come on. So much health and nothing to do with it. So much health and nothing to do with it. Uh, I don't think I've touched any other books this run. I'm not really using Red Candle. I might just walk out of here with Book of Belial for the upgrades. You should pay attention. Fine. I'll pay attention this week. I I just reached a point where I just, I, I had no, <laughs> I had no more desire to like stalk the waiver wires. Like I'm, I'm not struggling, but like I, mentally I'm struggling. Mentally I'm struggling to keep my head above water with like uh, this channel, you know, keeping things, making sure things are getting done here in a timely manner. Making sure that I'm not letting anything with the channel fall through the cracks. And my livelihood depends on this. Ugh, that's not what I meant to do at all. So when, when fantasy football started getting stressful, I was just like, ah, I tap. I tap out. Enjoy your bye weeks, fellas. Can I say what I think the worst boss ever is in the Binding of Isaac? I mean, I'd rather you just said it. <laughs> I can't remember the last time that I, like, barred somebody from giving their opinion on the Binding of Isaac, at least. The gate? The gate's a rough one. There we go. Yeah, we'll do that. I need to look at some of the newer ones. What? Let's see. Uh, repentance bosses. Colostomy is a rough one. Col Colostomy has ended more than its fair share of my runs. Who am I looking for? Dude, you seriously can't pair them with a photo? Bosses, there we go. Thank you, Wiki. You don't let me down. I, I got one in my head specifically, but I, I'm shit at memorizing their names. The Scourge. The Scourge is one of those ones where if I'm like, the Scourge, the Visage, and the Heretic, the Siren... All of those in that like middle tier area. If, if if the run hasn't reached escape velocity by then, I, I just get thrashed by them. I don't have any batteries just laying around, do I? It's fine. I think we'll just go. Not a sports guy at all. Got roped into two fantasy football le leagues and I'm winning both. Undefeated in one of them. People are upset to say the least. The last time that I made it to a championship game against Noah of all people. Hey, oh my god, why? Little rat bastard, you're lucky I don't need the money so bad. Um, the last time I got roped into a fantasy football league and I wasn't really paying attention, I got to the championship game with Noah on a on an auto draft. Joker. I, sure, I guess. Oh, by the way, we got casual godhead. Let me show you what that looks like. Our shop's home now. Oh, I'm a big dumb idiot. I was, I should have, uh, what? Oh, you know what? I can still take it in uh, the ladder on the next floor. We just gotta make sure, we just gotta make sure to uh, get a full charge. 
But we can take Eden's soul up the ladder on the next floor and get two uh, deal with the angel items. Don't mind if I do. It just dawned on me. I was like, uh, should should I have been more conscious? Should I have been more conscious of, of when I popped that Joker card? And I guess I probably could have been, but I don't think I'm going to be punished for it. The magician, you say? Yeah. Once we get the uh, once we get this charge, I'll I'll go in and fight the boss. I'm working under the assumption. Oh man, itchy nostril. I'm working under the assumption that I'll have enough combat necessary to fill this up. Oh god, that's not my fire. That's not one of mine. Uh, I'm okay for once. I love me some left hand, but I think I'm all right. Let's uh, load up on, well, not that it really seems to matter. The game seems determined to give me red chests anyway. We'll grab up these extra coins just in case there's a bunch of shit in the shop. away yeah bear ghost is really good Glad we saved it and did it like this. That's bookworm for what it's worth. I'm absolutely gonna take everything that I see. I'll take everything I see from item A to item Z. <clears throat> oh, that's right. I also still get uh because the first item we picked up uh, from a shop was Keeper's Sack. All these things that I've been buying from these angel shops have been upping my stats. Cletus! Morning everybody from Texas, where when it drops below 50 degrees, everyone loses their mind. Saw some angry drivers on the way back from the gym. Let's hear it for Tuesday. Yeah, dude, I'll give you Tuesday. I'll give you Tuesday right, right up the urethra. There you go. This feels fine. Smashly! I'm making the game weird. <laughs> yeah, if you've ever wondered why the toilet in the grown man's bathroom has pee all around it, it's because in the morning, peeing looks like this. It's part of the reason I've started sitting down to pee in the mornings. It's 
basically that, yeah. I'm not taking nine lives. I could, though. I'm taking nine lives. Why not? There's soul hearts just laying everywhere. Yeah, it's absolutely Tuesday. It's sad that I think about life this way, but tomorrow I get an episode of Hawkeye, which just means I finally get some new content to consume now that Arcane's over. Get it. Sorry, baby plump. It's not personal. Oh my god, why? Tabby, I'm trying to write code for pretzel and you're in here talking about pee. Well, it's not like fetishizing it, I'm just saying. This is somebody in chat said that our our lasers hitting the prism and having tiny planet look like morning dude pee. And I'm like, you know, I've tried to explain to my wife on any number of occasions that I'm not like an inconsiderate animal. I'm not like some sort of like a mindless savage. It's just that for whatever reason, man, you wake up in the morning and you get the serpent's tongue. The shit just goes wherever it wants to. It's got a mind of its own. Mind of its own that early in the morning. Yeah, you gotta be a considerate, you gotta be a considerate uh, penis owner and you gotta clean up after yourself. Oh my god. It's not as big a deal if you just don't leave the urine all the fuck over the place. Yeah, first, first P is like a fire hose that you're only holding on to with one hand. It's really just kind of going to go wherever the hell it wants to go, and you're just along for the ride. You just do your best to try to control the flow. It's genuinely while I'll, I'll sit down in the, on the first P of the day. That and because it's super comfortable, and I'm tired. You coward. I have one, one last hope. <laughs> Shit. I was hoping to, ex uh, to extend this run. What a fun time this was. We successfully negged Isaac. We told Isaac we didn't want to play it today. We told Isaac we didn't care. Yesterday we told Isaac, we made the mistake of telling Isaac we were looking forward to playing today. We said we didn't care.